Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In today's WordPress tutorial, we're going to take a look at another of the features that we've got available to us in Slider Revolution, and that's the ability to use posts to create our slides. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing we're going to do is create a couple of posts that we can use as the basis of our slides. So we're just going to come into the post menu and say add new. And there's a couple of things you need to do to create your post and use it with your slides. First thing is give it a title. So we're just going to call this slider post one. I've already created a category called sliders just so I can organize these posts a little easier, but that's not needed. You can choose post by post. You can choose categories. There's lots of ways you can choose how your slides are created from your posts. So I'm just going to use this for my organizational purposes and just check sliders. I'm going to put some simple text in there that we're going to use on the slide and I'm going to set my featured image. Now this is kind of important because in this example, we're going to use the featured image as the actual background for our slide. Now, if you created a template that had its own background images and all you wanted to pull from your slides were, for example, the text and the title, you could do that and we'll take a look at how that can be achieved in a future video on more advanced topics. But for now, we're going to keep this simple, set our featured image. I'm going to choose one that I know fits my slider and set my featured image. I'm going to publish that post. And then I'm going to create another post in exactly the same fashion. So I'm going to come up, add new, give it a post title of slider post two, pop some text in, choose the featured image, and finally just choose the category I want to work with. So we'll publish that one. So I've now got two posts that I'm going to use as slides. Once that's done, we're going to switch over to Slider Revolution and we're going to create our slider that's going to be used with our posts. So I've got a couple of slides I've created previously and for this example, we're going to click on New Slider. Once that loads in, we've got all of these options on how we can actually populate the slides we want to work with. And for this example, we're going to use Post-Based Slider. And when we do that, it's going to open up a whole range of options that are specific to this media type. And as you can see now, we can go in and we can tune exactly what we want to use in our post, sorry, in our uh, slider creation. So you can see we can use posts, pages, grid templates, pricing table. We can filter down to the categories, the formats. We can apply specific posts. We can specify whether we want ascending or descending and so on. So first thing I want to do, post is exactly what I want. As I said, I created sliders to be the sort of placeholder within my post uh, categories. So I'm going to choose that. I'm not going to worry about sorting my posts, but you can see you've got a whole range of options in there. You can choose whatever you think is applicable to you, and you can choose where there's going to be ascending or descending. The maximum number of posts per slider. So obviously, if you end up with 50 posts, you wouldn't want to use all those. You might say, well, I actually want to use the last or the first five. When you can limit that, you can then filter and you can use the ascend or descend in to get exactly which slides you want uh, into this particular, well, exactly which posts you want into this slider. Limit the excerpt to, and I'm going to say 35. So that's limiting the excerpt is the amount of text that we use in our slider. Again, you can come back in and fine tune any of these things. Next thing I'm going to do is give this a name and we're going to call this post slider. I'm going to give it an alias or post underscore slider, which will automatically create the shortcode, which it should we need it. And I can come down and I can fine tune exactly what type of slider I want to create. Standard slider, which will give us the left and right arrows, the hero scene, which would limit it to only one, or we can use a carousel slider. Alternatively, we can come down and we can actually choose a predefined layout, or we can save one of our own if we, uh, we set one up exactly as we like. I'm just going to leave this to standard slider I come down, leave it set to auto, and yeah, I'm happy with all those settings. I can come back in at any point and save it and change any of that anyway. So I'm going to say save my settings. That's going to take me to wait a few moments, and then that's going to load in the actual slider. So we've got a couple of slightly different options. You can see now because we've created a slider based upon posts and not just a blank slider template, the source has changed. We now have featured image, external URL, and so on. So the important one here in my example is featured image. 
because as I said at the onset of this video, we're going to use that featured image as the background to our slider. So we're going to select that. So we're now going to create the slides are going to be pulled from our database, pulled from our posts. So you can see you just put a placeholder in yours just so we can see, the, see what we're working on. And you can kind of look at this as just your template of information. So we know that's kind of the background. The next thing I want to do is add a text layer. And now we could put text in there directly and you can do that if you want to. But obviously we've created posts and we want to pull some of the information from there. So for this example, I'm going to say I want to use the post title. So if I come out to this little filter type icon and click on that, you can see we can include a pile of meta tags. So you can see you've got meta something tag, sorry, some meg a tag, title, excerpt, alias, content, link, date, and so on. So these are all bits of information that are supplied from our post. So I'm gonna say the first thing I want is I wanna insert the title. So I'm gonna say I want to use that short code. I'm gonna get rid of where it says caption text. So you can see what it does is it puts it inside a pair of parentheses, then the title, then closes the parentheses out. So we can leave that as it is. If we wanted to amend or prepend that with any other text, we could easily do that. And then it would use the information from our post in conjunction with the text that we put in there. But for this example, we'll keep it simple and we'll just use the title. So I'll click outside that and I can just select. I can align that where I want. In this instance, I want to go to the center. I can change any of the parameters on that. I can choose a different style if I want to. You know, all the things you're kind of used to doing. So let's just go for this one, just for a bit of fun. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the excerpt information. If you remember from the beginning, we limited the amount of characters that can be used in that. And again, you can go back in and fine tune should you need to. But like I say, this is just a quick example of how you can use it. So the next thing we're gonna do is add another layer. We're gonna say we want it to be text. We're going to use the little filter icon and we're going to say we want to use the excerpt. Again, I'm going to get rid of this text and we'll just choose a smaller style so it's a little bit more sort of in keeping what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, that'll do. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, we can come back and then change that if we need to. I can position that roughly where I want, then hit the alignment tools to get it exactly where I want. And now I can save that out. So I can save my slide. And if we preview that, we'll see what this will look like. So with our slider saved now, we're just gonna come up and click the preview. And that'll load in a preview of what our slide will look like. And obviously it's a little bit bigger than we want it to be. So, you know, it's, it's just a preview. Best way to do it is look at it on the actual physical page. And you can see we can jump through and we can see what will it look like on the different kinds of devices, mobile devices, and so on. Now the problem we do have is that you can see that our text is being pulled from the uh, excerpt is just too long, so it's being clipped off. We can deal with that quite easily, so let's just close this preview down. And we've got this new little icon in uh, Slider Revolution version five, and it allows us to specify the line break. So if I click that on, that will activate this width box. Now, if I just save this, you'll see what's going on, and I can show you how we can change it. So I'll just preview. And what you'll see is when we load the preview, and you can now see that instead of it filling the entire width of the screen and getting cut off either side, it's now flowing down. And as you can see, we've got a single word, a couple of sort of two words, three words, and so on, but it's not perfect. So let's close that down. What we've also got now is this ability to adjust the width of this particular element. In this example, the excerpt element. So by default, you can see on there, it's got 113 pixels with the auto set, so with the height set to auto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and say, well, I'm going to set that to, for example, 800 pixels and save that. And then once that's saved, I can come in and I can click the preview and you'll find now what that'll do is that'll limit it to being 800 pixels wide. So that's a great way of making sure that your text sits correctly on the various different elements. So we can close that down and that really is all there is to it. We can always come in and we can specify we want some animation applied to these things. So we can select the title. We can come up to animation and we can say, well, we want that to rotate from the bottom. And we can click on our element for the actual excerpt and we can say we want that to smooth pop in. So we'll just save that and we'll see what happens. So there we go. We've now applied animation to it. And um, once that slide's finished and you go to the next one, it'll do the same on that one with the content pulled from that slide. 
So there we go. So as you can see, it's pretty quick and easy to be able to create a slider where you can pull the information from a post or pages. You can then limit which pages or posts are being pulled in to create it, but you only have to create the slider or the slide template one time. And then all of the posts or pages that are applied to it will automatically auto-generate the content for each one of the slides. You can control the number of slides you create. You can even filter which slides are used from any particular section of your site. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. We'll take a look at some of the more advanced features in a further video. But for now, this really should get you going to create you know, quite, uh, quite complicated slides without having to worry too much about creating each individual slide separately. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please pop a comment in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all of the new content we're adding weekly. And until next time, take care.